Hello, good evening everybody. How are you today? Buenas noches, ¿cómo están? Muy bien, gracias. I'm glad to have you here. Welcome to this yeah. uh, pre-intermediate three. Okay, so I'm very happy to have you here. And I would like to do my introductory presentation before we can start. So I would like to ask you if you can watch my screen. Pueden ver mi pantalla? Can you watch yes. my Okay. Yes, I can see it. Well, I can, I, I would like to say welcome on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. We are very glad to have you here that you can start this pre-intermediate three that you are enjoying learning and that you will have a very nice time uh, practicing your English as a second language. Uh, basically, what I want to do is introduce myself. My name is Patricia de Moran. I live in San Salvador, Apopa. I'm 42 years old. There are four people in my family. There are, they are my husband, my two girls. Uh, I work at the at Inglés Corporativo, as I said before. My major is in education, specialized in English language, and my master degree is in local development. It's a pleasure to be your facilitator in this course. So um, before I can give you the, the time for you to introduce yourself, I would like to talk about this online course. I know that you have been introduced in the initial session with Mr. Sainz and the administrative team, but basically, what I want to share with you is some key aspect uh, that we need to remember. For example, we will meet from Monday to Thursday and uh, for one hour through Zoom, but you will continue working in the platform, watching the videos and solving some exercises. So it will improve, improve your listening, reading and writing. So only for this week, we are going to work from uh, Tuesday to Friday. Okay, solo esta semana vamos a trabajar de martes a viernes, ¿verdad? Las otras tres semanas que vienen eh, vamos a trabajar eh, de lunes a jueves. Eh, so, let me ask you to please mute yourself. Me gustaría pedirles que se puedan poner mute un momentito, porque estoy escuchando por ahí algunas interferencias y me ayudan para podernos escuchar bien. Thank you very much. Ok, so... The class methodology is student-centered. It means that the teacher becomes a facilitator. Students will have an introductory of the topic related to the platform, an explanation, and some examples of the topic. And later, group work is going to be strengthened uh, uh, for you to speak, and then uh, you can participate in plenary sessions uh, by showing what you did in your group. All students are invited to participate to improve your performance, right? Um, so I want to explain this a little bit more. Quiero explicar esto un poquito más y lo voy a hacer en español para que nos quede un poquito más claro. Um, vamos a, yo le voy a mostrar cada noche, ¿verdad? En qué parte de la plataforma estamos trabajando porque todos los temas están estrechamente vinculados con la plataforma. Esa es nuestra guía, nuestro norte. Eh, voy a procurar actividades para que ustedes hablen más que yo, ¿verdad? Definitivamente. Eh, me vuelvo una facilitadora, ¿verdad? Eh, necesitamos que usted fortalezca su habilidad de hablar, ¿verdad? Así que vamos a trabajar en pequeños grupos, en breakout rooms, y también vamos a participar en las plenarias, ¿verdad? Showing what we did, mostrando lo que trabajamos en los grupos pequeños. So, this will help you to improve your performance. Esto definitivamente es para que ustedes puedan mejorar eh, su desempeño, ¿verdad? So we are going to correct pronunciation mistakes and then we will learn together. Vamos a corregir también eh, algunos detalles de pronunciación y vamos a aprender juntos. So as you know, all participants are in the WhatsApp group and we will build a supportive learning community to solve doubts to do exercises, but the most important thing is to learn from each other. So I will support you in all your learning needs through this communication tool. I will share a link of extra class material through Google Drive. But remember that the most important in this course is that you can complete all the platform exercises. Uh, you need to achieve 80% as a score in all exercises, plus the midterm exam that we will have 
by the end of section number three and the final exam, right? So this is the key to pass the course. Eh, quiero explicar un poquito más esto. Eh, vamos a tener um, acceso a material extra a través de un Google Drive que yo le voy a compartir el enlace en WhatsApp los días viernes. Why Friday, teacher? Because I don't want to distract you and to take your time of the platform. No quiero distraerlos ni tampoco que inviertan en este otro material su tiempo, eh, eh, sino que más bien esto es un material de apoyo. Eh, the challenge is for you to complete on the platform exercises eh, during the week. So if you can eh, have addi additional practice, you can do, in, do it by weekend. Eh, so there's no problem with this. De, de esta manera, ¿verdad? Usted va a lograr completar la plataforma de lunes a jueves. Eh, no, no va a perder ninguno de los ejercicios, los vamos a ir trabajando juntos. Y el fin de semana, si usted quiere seguir practicando, pues vamos a tener acceso a este material adicional. Pero reitero, ¿verdad? Lo que está aquí en color rojito es que necesitamos completar todos los ejercicios de la plataforma. Eso es lo más importante para que ustedes alcancen un 80% en todos los ejercicios en el examen de medio periodo y en el examen final. So, do you have questions so far? ¿Tenemos preguntas hasta aquí? Oh, no. Ok, okay perfecto. Now is your turn. Now is your turn to introduce yourself. Ahora es el turno de ustedes, ¿verdad? Para presentarse. I already did it. So I'm showing this information for you. Uh, try to adapt and do your own introduction, right? So you don't have to give all this information. You just need to give the one that you would like. For example, what's your name? Where do you live? And where do you work? Okay? So, I would like to start. Me gustaría que se presenten, ¿verdad? Eh, this class is a little bit longer because of that, but it's important to do this because we are going to share four weeks in this model. Vamos a compartir cuatro semanas juntos, ¿verdad? Así que creo importante que nos presentemos brevemente. No tienen que dar toda la información que yo les he dado, but the basic, like your name, where you live, and eh, where do you work, right? So, who wants to start? Vamos a ver. ¿Quién quiere comenzar? Remember that you have uh, the tool to raise your hand uh, or you can uh, open your mic. Ok, Carla. Adelante, Carla. Hi, teacher. My name is Carla Iriondo. I live in Sonsonate, El Salvador. I work at Unidad de Salud. Okay. I am, I am a doctor. Okay, Carla, thank you very much. Congratulations for being here in this in this call. Thank you. Thank eh, you, teacher. Okay. Hey, sir. Hey, sir Lievano. Would you like to continue, hey, sir? Yes. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Hey, sir Lievano. Uh, I live in Soyapango City. I am 31 years old. I have a degree on international relations, and actually, I am an entrepreneur. Okay, excellent. Very good. Good to hear that. Thank you. Okay, uh, let's see uh, who else voluntarily. If not, I will continue with the list. So who wants to? Yeah, me, teacher. Okay, please. My name is Elizabeth Gonzalez. I live in San Salvador. Um, there are three people in my family. Uh, they are my uh, two daughters. And, mm -hmm. and some, um, I work in my house. Okay, excellent, excellent. Mm, okay. Okay, I'll that's it, one. thank you very much, good job. Okay, let's see, um, let's see, maybe um, Julio, Julio Figueroa, would you like to? And then Jennifer Aquino. Okay. My name is Julio Figueroa. I live in San Salvador, San Salvador. I am 54 years old. There are seven people in my family. There are my, my wife and my five girls. And I work in architecture. Okay, so you are an architect. Excellent. Thank you. Jennifer Aquino, would you like to continue?
Yes, good afternoon. My name is Jennifer Aquino. I live in San Salvador. I'm 26 years old. And I work in PRIA as a customer service representative. Okay, thank you, Jennifer. Welcome to the class. Okay, I would like to ask uh, Noria. Noria Gisaba, would you like to introduce yourself? Good evening. We can hear you. We can hear you perfectly. Le podemos escuchar muy bien. Okay. My name is Noria de Isaba Lucano. I live in Sonsonate. I am 43 years old. There are four people in my family. They are my husband and my two brothers. Okay. I work at my house. Mm -hmm. And my mother is. Um, I am eating. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Nadia. Very good. Good to have you here in class. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Angie, Angie Beltran, would you like to continue? Hello, hello. Good night. I am Angelo. Okay, okay, Angelo, Angelo in this case. Okay, sorry. It's because sorry. it says Angie. Okay. Yes. Uh, well, uh, my name is Angel and my, my first First name is Angel, my last name is Muñoz. Okay. Um, I live in La Cima Uno in San Salvador. I am 33 years old. Okay. And there are three people in my family. Mm -hmm. They are they, they they are two brothers and my mother. And I work in Tigo. And yeah. that's it. Only that. Nice to meet okay. you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Iris Mena, would you like to continue, Iris? Good evening. Uh, my name is Iris Mena. I am 30 years old. Uh, two thousand. It is, I don't know if, if you can uh, use your mic a little bit closer. Tal vez si se acerca un poquito más el mic porque la oímos bien lejos. Oh, bueno, ahí se me escucha. Yeah, a little bit better, un poquito mejor, sí. Bueno, I, I am 30 years old. Uh -huh. uh, I'm 2000. Uh, I work in Hotel Crom Plaza. Uh -huh. uh, that's it. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, let's see. Um, maybe uh, Adonai. I don't know if Adonai is ready to introduce her, uh, himself. Hello, teacher. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, perfectly. Okay. My name is Adonai Arias. I live in, in Santa Ana, San Sebastián, San Litrillo. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, 34 years old. Okay. There are there are three people in my family. My husband and one children. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's see. And a I'm handsome. Very handsome. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's good. Excellent. Okay. Uh, Eric Sela. Good evening, everyone. My name is Eric Salada. I'm 22 years old. I mm -hmm. live in Sonsonate. Mm -hmm. I work at Tigo. I do customer service for social media. Mm -hmm. mm, that's it. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Rocio, I see Rocio raising hands. Rocio Lopez. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is Rocio Lopez. I live in San Salvador. 
Um, I work at Tigo, too. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I work in, in training area for the center in sales and distribution. Okay, thank you, Rocio. Welcome to class. Okay, Carlos Escobar, would you like to continue introducing yourself? Okay, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Carlos Escobar. I live in Santa Ana. Uh, I am 36 years old. Uh, there are three people in my family. Uh, there are my wife and my girl. Uh, I work in Cartelone, Construcciones Civiles. And my major is industrial engineer and specialized in safety and health and environment. And it's a pleasure to be your uh, classmate in this course. Okay, welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, let's see. I don't know if Julio Figueroa uh, is there. I uh, already participated, Julio? Yes, yes, right? Yes, okay, perfect. So let's see. Let's see, let's see. Okay. Um, Ingrid Barrera, would you like to introduce yourself, Ingrid? Oh, yes. Um, my name is Ingrid Ayala. I am 27 years old. I live with my family in San Salvador. Um, last year, I finished my university. I studied psychology. Oh, and wow. My free time, I like watch movie and live in room. Okay, very good. Thank you. Welcome. Let's see Rene Guevara. I don't know if Rene is over there. Hello, hello everyone. My name hello. is Rene Guevara. I live in Jucuapa, Usulután. I know the world. I study in Lauder and I'm 21 years old. It's a pleasure to meet you all. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Okay, let's see. Um, Emperatriz? Yes. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Emperatriz Garcia. I live in Cabañas. I'm a technician in processing food, and it's a pleasure for me <laughs> to be here. <laughs> okay, welcome. Thank you. Raquel Campos, would you like to continue introducing yourself? Hey, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Raquel Campos. I live in Soyapango. I am 34 years old. I live with my husband and my, my son. Um, I work in, um, I do uh, delivery in motorcycle. Mm, wow. Um that's it. Okay, very good. I, I okay. admire people that can ride a motorcycle. I like that, yes. but I can't. <laughs> okay, congratulations. Let's see. Uh, Daniel, Daniel Rugamas. Um, hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening, um, Daniel. My name is Daniel Rugamas. I live in Casaltepec. Mm -hmm. I am Terry. 34 years old. I am a count. Um, yes. I work at uh, Arizal. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. Let's see. Um, let's see who's missing. I see here Stella XS. Uh, no sé el nombre. Excuse me. Stella XS. Because I don't know your name, but maybe you can introduce yourself. Vamos a ver, ¿qué más? Okay, let me see who's missing. Vamos a ver, ¿quién me falta, chicos? Porque creo que yo ya me perdí un poquito. Okay, okay, please, please. Okay, uh, good evening. I introduce myself. My name is Erika Costa. Uh, um, I'm 25 years old. There are five, pe five people in my family. And uh, right now, um, I don't have a job, but my profession is electrical engineer. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm so happy to be here. 
Okay, thank you. Welcome. Very good. Let's see Iris Mena. No sé si Iris ya había participado y a ver, creo que no. Your mic, Iris. Vamos a ver. En... Todavía no escuchamos. Ahí está. Ay, ahora sí. Go ahead, please. Adelante, Iris. Eh, ya me había presentado, Tich. Ah, ok. Es que vi la manito arriba. Creo que quedó pendiente. Ok. Let's see who else. Vamos a ver. Se me queda alguien. Disculpen que no. Creo que ya estamos todos, ¿verdad? Si alguien se me ha quedado, por favor, con confianza me dice. Ah, ok. El compañero o compañera que tiene Stella XS nos dice que no puede escuchar. Probablemente hay algún problemita ahí de conexión. Don't worry. It's okay. Later we will introduce you. Ok, I'm going to stop sharing this. Uh, thank you for coming. It's a pleasure to have you here again. Nice to meet you. Uh, let me continue um, to uh, show you the platform that we are going to work with. So for tonight, we expect to cover uh, at least two objectives. Uh, so in your platform, you have the 1.0 lesson objective that says that in this session, participants will listen to a conversation about a city where adverbs before adjectives are used. So that's um, part of what we are going to start learning tonight. And we have a video in the platform that says, it's a very exciting place. So I highly recommend you to go to the platform and watch the video because in this way you will train your ear and you will listen a, a very nice pronunciation of American speakers. And so you can train your ear, but also you can practice the new vocabulary and you can also practice the right pronunciation of the words you listen there. Also, you, we are going to cover by tonight the 1.2 lesson objective that says, in this class, participants will learn the usage of adverbs before adjectives. So we are going to remember what adverbs are, what are used for, and what are adjectives, and how this combination can be done. So we have a video there in the 1.3 adverbs before adjectives, so you can go and uh, listen some expressions like San Juan is really nice, it's fairly big, it's not very expensive, it's too noisy and too crowded and so many combinations of these. And later we will have a knowledge check. But before we go to the knowledge check, I would like that we can uh, start with the presentation that I have for you tonight. So let me share with you. Okay, can you watch my screen? Podemos ver la pantalla? Yes. Okay, yes, so can. let's start for remembering what adverbs are. We say that an adverb describes a verb. It means that describes an action that is a verb or an adjective or another adverb. It tells us how, where, when, how much, and with what frequency uh, we do things. And uh, so when we say how, we have adverbs like quietly, peacefully, carefully, slowly, badly, closely, easily, well, fast, quickly, cheerfully. When we uh, want to describe where, we use some adverbs like above, abroad, far, away, back, here, outside, backwards, behind, below, down. When we want to describe when, we use uh, adverbs like now, yesterday, soon, later, tomorrow, yet, already, tonight, today, then, last year. When we want to express how much, we use adverbs like quiet, like quite, fairly, too, enormously, entirely, very, extremely, rather, almost, absolutely, just. And adverbs for how often are always, sometimes, often, frequently, normally, generally, usually, occasionally, seldom, rarely, and never. 
So those are some of the adverbs that we are going to use. And adverbs can be in different positions of the sentence. For example, in the front position, right, we can have, have adverbs of frequency. For example, sometimes I see him at the supermarket. So look here, we are using the adverb sometimes, and it's a frequency adverb, and it's at the beginning of the sentence. Then we have adverbs of manner, suddenly. Suddenly, the eagle opened its wings. Adverbs of time or place. Tomorrow, I'm going to Dublin. Next to her, I, next to her, I felt like a frown. Adverbs of certainty. Perhaps, he's not coming in the end. So those are adverbs in front position or initial position of the sentence. We have also some adverbs that go in the mid position of the sentence and they can be adverbs of frequency. For example, he always has, a, has sandwiches for his lunch. Or adverbs of manner, he slowly backed his car into the garage. Adverbs of time, we've already eaten dinner. Adverbs of certainty, we're obviously going to need more help. Adverbs of degree, I can hardly believe you said that. And then we have some adverbs at the end position. For example, adverbs of frequency, he visits, he visits me occasionally. Adverbs of manner, the horse whisked its tail angrily. Adverbs of time, journalists will be able to preview the exhibition tomorrow. Adverbs of place, bring the boxes here. So all of the words in red color are adverbs. You can say of place, of time, of manner, and of frequency. Just to remind you, okay? So how do we, how do we form adverbs? Well, first we have, we have an adjective, for example, beautiful. Then we add the, the, the word or the particle L or the two letters L, Y, and it says beautifully. So what changes? We add L, Y. Slow, slowly. We add L, Y. Bad, badly. Happy, happily. So when we have some adjectives that finish in Y, we just, change, we just change the Y by I and R, L, Y. For example, noisy. If you see here, I change the Y for an I and then R, L, Y. Noisy, noisily. Easy, easily, right? So that's the way how we change adjectives into adverbs. So here, we are going to circle the adverb in each sentence below. Uh, on the line in front of the sentence, um, for example, uh, tell whether the adverb answers how, when, or where, okay? So I would like you to take a picture of this. Me gustaría que por favor, si pueden tomar una imagen de esto, I will send this to you to, the, to your WhatsApp group. Voy a enviarles esto a su grupo de WhatsApp. And then, um, if you are not in the WhatsApp group, I will ask you to please join. Si ustedes no están en el grupo de WhatsApp, le voy a pedir que por favor se unan. And I'll send you this. I'll send you this. Le voy a enviar también esta otra, ¿verdad? That says how, where, when, how much, and how often. Because it will help you to answer, right? Esto le va a ayudar a poder responder. So let me send you this. Ok, lo vamos a trabajar aquí, ¿verdad? Juntos, para ir agarrando un poquito de confianza y recordarnos cómo era la cosa, ¿verdad? Para, para recordar lo que son los adverbs, los adjectives, and then advance with the topic. For example, number one, Scott carefully finished his homework. I will need like 10 volunteers. Voy a necesitar 10 voluntarios para que me ayuden a resolver este ejercicio. 
¿verdad? Dice que digamos eh, cuál sería el, el adverb en ese caso y qué nos está diciendo. Si how, where, when, or how much, ¿verdad? Eh, o también how often. Por ejemplo, carefully. How. How, ¿verdad? Si usted ve en la lista, ahí tenemos carefully, ¿verdad? Entonces, ese es el, el, el adverb, carefully, y nos dice how. Voy a, a, a tratar de, de hacerlo acá, ¿verdad? Para que lo podamos ir trabajando juntos. Y después ya vamos a ir avanzando eh, en, en trabajar ya en parejas o en tríos, ¿verdad? Okay, let's see. Number two. We are going to, to the store today. ¿Cuál well. sería? When, ¿verdad? When. Y entonces el adverb, ¿cuál sería? Today, ¿verdad? Today. Okay, so let me try. Vamos a tratar de... Eh, a ver si no nos toma mucho tiempo. Today. So that's the way it is. Let me hide this and then. Let add a red in order that this can be seen in a better way. Okay, so let me copy and paste for the rest. Okay, number three, who knows? Vamos a ver, número tres. The energetic dog ran away. Where? Where, Where? right? Where? And what, what could be uh, the, 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 the adverb there? Away. 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 Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, number, let's see, number four. Uh, the noisy helicopter was flying high in the sky. So what, what it tells? ¿Qué nos dice? How often? How often? How, right? Maybe, uh, let's see, noisy? Mm -hmm. No puede ser how much, no puede ser when, tampoco where. Eh, aunque pudiera ser, a ver, no. How, the noisy, ¿verdad? El ruidoso helicóptero. Entonces sería how, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo era el helicóptero? Noisy, right? Uh -huh. Ok, high in the sky. Okay, very good. Number five. Let's see. Did you find it? The young girl and her parent danced gracefully. How much? Mm -hmm. eh, fíjense que estamos encontrando muchos acerca de how. Vea, este gracefully es parecido a pacefully. ¿Cómo lo hizo? Graciosamente. Entonces es how. Y en este caso, nos dice cómo bailó, ¿verdad? La niña con su the young girl and her par partner. La, la niña, ¿verdad? La jovencita y su pareja bailaron graciosamente. Entonces, gracefully se convierte, es el, el adverb. Y nos dice cómo, ¿verdad? How. Okay, very good. Let's see. Vamos a ver el siguiente. Who has it? ¿Quién no tiene? We often eat a dinner with our friends. ¿Cuál sería ahí el adverb? Often. Often, ¿verdad? Often. Porque en ese caso es un frequency, ¿verdad? Un frequency adverb. Muy bien. Very good. Often. Okay, number seven. ¿Cómo nos quedaría? He cleaned the carpet inside the house. Where? Where? Where, Where ¿verdad? ¿Y cuál sería el, el, el frequency? 
Inside. El albert, perdón, inside, inside. 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 Y, es de, y es de place, ¿verdad? Es un eh, albert of place. So, where? Ok, very good. So, next. Veamos la siguiente. My cousin is never afraid. How? Um, how often? How often? Ahí es how often. Sí, así es. Ahí está. Eh, never está en la lista de how often. Is the last one. Es la última. Si ustedes ven, está en esa lista. Ok. ¿Qué tan a menudo, verdad? Nunca. Never. Oops, sorry. Perdón. Vamos a hacerlo un poquito más grande para que se vea más estético. Ok. Never, right? Ok, number nine. They recently moved into our neighborhood. So, what did it tell us? When. When, when right? When. Cuando, ¿verdad? When. So, and the adverb is? Recently. 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 Es como con una I. Recently. Ok, very good. Ok, and the last one, ten. My mom and dad are happily married. Mm -hmm. What it tells? ¿Qué nos dice? How. How. Oops, sorry. Perdón, se me movió de nuevo. Ok. Ahorita terminamos. Nos dice how, en efecto. Y entonces, ¿cuál sería el adverb? Happy. Happy. Happily, ¿verdad? Happily, happily, right. Felizmente, ¿verdad? Happily. Oops. How. Ok, very good. Excellent. So you did an excellent job by identifying what the adverb tell us and which is the adverb in those sentences. So congratulations. Very good. Ok, so let's continue. Continuemos. Now I want you to, to remember what's the definition of an adjective, right? Because if we are going to talk about adverbs before adjectives, we need to remember what is an adverb and then what is an adjective. So, an adjective is a word which describes or gives us more information about a noun or a pronoun, right? Remember that the, in this case, the adverb describes an action, a verb, right? It can describe an adjective, but also another uh, adverb. In this case, the adjective is a word that describes or gives more information about a noun or pronoun. ¿Verdad? Un adjetivo nos describe a un nombre o sustantivo o a un pronombre, ¿verdad? For example, beautiful flower. In this case, the adjective is beautiful, and the noun is flower. Big house. In this case, The adjective is big and the noun is house. Example here. She's quick. She walks away quickly. Adverb. Vean la diferencia. She is quick. Eh, es un adjetivo, en este caso quick, ¿verdad? Eh, nos dice, está describiendo al pronoun, she. She is quick. Y en este caso eh, utilizamos el verb to be, ¿verdad? Podemos decir eh, quick lady. Eh, una chica rápida, ¿verdad? Pero en este caso estamos diciendo she is quick, pero igual este es un adjective, ¿verdad? Tenemos las dos formas de decirlo. Adjective noun o eh, noun, verb to be, and adjective. She walks away quickly. Look, she walks away quickly. In this case, quickly is an adverb, right? That is describing how She walks, nos está describiendo cómo camina, está describiendo an action, a verb, quickly. ¿Ven? Entonces esa es la diferencia, ¿verdad? Que uno, o el adjetivo no describe al noun, ¿verdad? O al pronoun, y el adverb más bien describe al verb. Ok, let's see here. The adjective gives us more information about a noun or a pronoun by answering One of, the, of these questions. What kind? Vean, en las preguntas que hacemos para identificar un adjetivo son diferentes a las que hacemos para un adverb. En este caso decimos what kind, de qué tipo. Which one? ¿Cuál? How many? ¿Cuántos? 
what kind? And what kind podemos utilizar uh, colors, like blue car. We can use measures, medidas, long rope. Uh, size, tall, tall person, big house. Which one? A demonstrative, right? This town, last week, the second day, the other woman, right? We can even use uh, ordinal numbers. Second, the second day, the other woman. How many? One second, three boys, few cars, several people. In this case, we can use numbers, right? And we can use quantifiers. Okay, remember that when we talk about adjectives, we are talking about opinion, right? Delicious, lovely, nice, cool. We are describing an attitude or observations. Size, size and height. Big, small, tall, huge, tiny. All of them are adjectives. Todos estos son adjetivos, ¿verdad? Que están clasificados así. Opinion, size, shape, forma. Weight or length, round, square, long, fat. Están clasificados por forma, peso o eh, ancho, ¿verdad? Redondo, cuadrado, largo, gordo. Condition, condition or state. Clean, wet, rich, hungry. Age, how well is it? Old, young, new, antique, right? Color. Uh, we can use here all the colors we know. Green, blue, reddish, purple, right? Pattern, patrón, ¿verdad? Spot, check, flower, zigzag. Aquí es como eh, punteado con lunares, ¿verdad? Eh, chequeado, chequecito, floreado o en forma de zigzag. Origin, American, British, Arabic, Turkish. Material, gold, wooden, plastic, synthetic. Purpose, gardening, shopping, writing. So remember that before adjectives plus noun, we normally have a determiner. A, an, de, my, your, her, for, this, those, some, etc. Okay, so uh, we can use an adverb, for example, very, before an adjective, cold, to make the adjective stronger. Entonces, ¿para qué utilizamos un adverbio, verdad, antes de un adjetivo, verdad? To make the adjective stronger, para que el adjetivo sea todavía más fuerte. For example, you can say it was cold, estaba frío, verdad, pero ahí no, 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 no hacemos ninguna eh, fuerza sobre el adjetivo cold. But if I say it was very cold, Estoy diciendo estaba muy frío. Entonces ya ese cold se hizo más fuerte. It, it is stronger because I add the word, the, the adverb very. It was very cold, right? Entonces vean, utilizamos adjetivos, eh, perdón, adverbios antes de los adjetivos para hacer el adjetivo más fuerte. No es lo mismo decir estaba frío. Aquí yo diga, es, diga, estaba muy frío. En este caso, very o muy, que es el, el adverb, nos hace más fuerza sobre el adjetivo cold. Entonces, básicamente de eso se trata esta, esta unidad de la plataforma. So I, I have here some other examples for you. I am terribly sorry to bother you. She's well aware of the problem. It's vitally important to learn new vocabulary. He fast asleep. She's wide awake. They were brutally murdered. Vean, estoy terriblemente, eh, eh, siento terriblemente, ¿verdad? Molestarte. Terribly is the adverb. And sorry, the adjective. Well aware. Well eh, is the, eh, the adverb. And aware, the adjective. Vitally important. Vitally is the adverb, important, the adjective. Fast asleep. Fast is the adverb, asleep, the adjective. Wide awake. Wide is the adverb, and awake, the adjective. Brutally murdered. 
brutally is the adverb and murder the adjective in this case. So here I have more examples of adverb plus adjectives, right? I like them because they are very easy to understand and easy to identify. For example, utterly wrong. The detention of children is utterly wrong, right? Utterly. Utterly es una palabra, es un adverb que utilizamos para acompañar con diferentes eh, adjectives. Eh, por ejemplo, wrong. Wrong es un adjective. Y eh, voy a darles la definición, right? Eh, es completamente o extremadamente, ¿verdad? Extremely or completely wrong, right? Extremadamente eh, erróneo o equivocado. The detention of children is utterly wrong. La detención de los niños es eh, completamente, ¿verdad? O extremadamente erróneo o equivocado. In this case, wrong is the adjective. Utterly alone. He's not just antisocial, he's utterly alone. Él no es solamente antisocial, él está extremadamente solo. Utterly amazed. I'm utterly amazed as a basketball coach, he said. Estoy extremadamente eh, amazed, es como eh, extrañado, ¿verdad? O, o admirado, ¿verdad? Eh, como eh, coach de basketball. Utterly appeal. I'm utterly appealed, but it doesn't surprise me. Utterly beautiful. She's she always looks utterly beautiful. He was utterly fantastic. He's utterly furious and he wants to get even. Right? Utterly furious. It is utterly ridiculous and totally absurd, right? Vea que aquí hemos utilizado utterly. Ridiculous. Ridiculous is the adjective. Y hemos utilizado totally también. Absurd. Aquí hay dos, ¿verdad? Utterly, totally. Dos adverbs. And ridiculous adjective, absurd adjective, right? Entonces, este adverb, utterly, le da más fuerza a los adjectives que hemos utilizado. Ridiculous, furious, fantastic, beautiful, appeal, uh, amazed, alone. Wrong. Okay, here I have more. I have, for example, ridiculous easy. And the examples are the test is ridiculous easy. It didn't even, I didn't even study, but it will get a high score. Utterly ridiculous, esto ya lo vimos en el anterior, highly successful. Janet is a highly successful businesswoman. She owns several restaurants and hotels around the country. Strongly opposed. Roger is strongly opposed to anything bad for his health. He doesn't eat junk food and he doesn't drink or smoke. Deeply concerned. Are you okay? I am deeply concerned about you. You have been depressed since you lost your job. Vea, ridiculamente fácil, profundamente preocupado. Eh, altamente exitosa, eh, extremadamente ridículo, fuertemente opuesto a, ¿verdad? Entonces vean que en todos los casos el adverb eh, ridiculously, deeply, highly, utterly, and strongly give more emphasis to the adjective opposed, ridiculous, successful, concerned, and easy, right? And here I have more. Uh, for example, we can say extremely hot. Este es un, el primero es el adverb y el último que está en bold es el adjective. Very hot, rather hot, fairly hot, fairly cold, rather cold, very cold, extremely cold, freezing. En este caso ya freezing es un adjective, right? Um, So, boiling is not uh, uh, readable, hot and cold are readable, freezing is not readable, right? So, that's are the, those are the definitions. Okay, here I have an exercise for you, right? But I'm afraid that we won't be able to complete it, but we will try. 
Aquí les tengo un ejercicio, ¿verdad? Para eh, tratar de realizarlo. Vamos a intentarlo en el tiempo que nos queda. So I have list one and list two. If you see, I have a one list of uh, adjectives, I mean of adverbs. Si se fijan, la lista uno son adverbs. Delicately, closely, enthusiastically, highly, carefully, ideally, badly, dangerously. Y la lista dos es um, associated with, balanced, chosen, mistaken, overcrowded, qualified, received, situated. Son adjectives. So you have a text here and it says, now complete each of these sentences with one of the expressions from the list above. So the challenge is that we have to complete. El reto es que tenemos que completar este párrafo con las listas, ¿verdad? De palabras que tenemos ahí, eh, que puede ser que sea eh, de la lista 1, ¿verdad? Que es un adverb, o puede ser que sea de la lista 2, que es un adjective. So, I'm sending you now to the WhatsApp group. Les estoy mandando ahorita al grupo de WhatsApp. And because of the time, I think that this is going to be a homework. Por el tiempo, creo que esto nos va a quedar de tarea. Eh, me gustaría saber si alguien tiene preguntas hasta aquí eh, sobre lo que es un adverbio, lo que es un adjetivo. Es un tema un poquito denso, ¿verdad? Pero para el nivel de ustedes, pues ya, ya estamos avanzando un poquito más. So I'm open to your questions if you, if you need to ask something. Estoy abierta para sus preguntas en los minutos que nos quedan. Si, si quieren hacer consultas sobre lo que hemos visto. In the adverbs, mm -hmm. um, in, this, in this situation uh, about the, the that exercises, mm -hmm. uh, always it's going to, um, it's go, I'm going to put a, the letter L with Y. Not necessary. Not necessarily. In this case, I wanted to have a very easy exercise. That's why I decided all of them with LY. But if you see here, I'm going to move just the presentation just to show you. Uh, if you see here, we have difference. Uh, for example, how we have here many of them end with LY quietly, peacefully when we ask how. Normally, mm -hmm. the ones with LY are the ones that answer to the question how. Mm -hmm. But the other ones are different. For example, above, abroad, far, away, back, here, outside. They, they, don't, they don't end with LY, right? And they okay. are adverbs that answer to the question where. And okay. the same happens with when. We have now, yesterday, soon, later, tomorrow, and they don't end with L-Y, right? Mm -hmm. And at okay. the end, some of the how much end with L-Y, for example, fairly, enormously, but not all of them. For example, we have quite, too, very, that don't necessarily end with L-Y. And in the case of how often, it's also some of them, Frequently, normally, generally, and with LY, but we have others that seldom, rarely, never, always. So, they are, in this case, the how often, remember that the ones that answer to the question how often normally are, are frequency adverbs, right? Mm -hmm. Depends of the situation, right? Yeah, it, it depends on the situation. And remember that an adverb always describes a verb an adjective or another adverb. So you need to look for the position in the sentence and that's why I show you that they can be in a front position or initial position, in the mid position or at the end. So you have to look what it is modifying. And the basic difference uh, with an adjective is that the adjective always describes or gives more information about a noun uh, or a pronoun. And that's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we can okay. say that we can have a, a wide variety of adverbs than adjectives, right? Okay. Okay. You, you, you don't worry because this is a very, um, let's see, wide topic. 
and I don't expect that you manage it uh, excellent right now, but I need to go deep with you little by little, and that's why I will give you extra material for you to practice, right? Okay. Sure. Can you um, share the presentation in the in WhatsApp? Yes, uh, let me see. I will try to upload this by tomorrow, right? Uh, because I'm afraid to send it to you through WhatsApp because it's a little bit heavy because they are images. So what I will do is to upload to my um, Google Drive and I will try to share with you as, as soon as possible. It means tomorrow, by tomorrow, right? So okay. you can download it from my, my uh, Drive. And in that way you don't uh, charge your cell phone memory stick with this big uh, size of, of uh, files, right? Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Do you have extra questions, my dears? Okay, if not, uh, I just want to say thank you for coming. I hope to see you tomorrow here. And don't worry about the a lot of material we have because we are going to cover it step by step and we are going to practice. So for tomorrow, if you have the chance to advance by reading uh, the exercise and try to solve it, uh, and then we will share with the class, right? Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Be thank safe you. and to, to see, see you. you. See you tomorrow. Be safe. Take care. Uh, good night. Okay, good night. Bye-bye. See you. See you.